the Tempe residents have resoundingly rejected a proposition, three propositions actually, on Tuesday at the polls with mail-in ballots saying, no, we do not want to build and essentially fund a new arena for the Arizona Coyotes. Despite it being hailed as the best sports deal in Arizona history, the voters say no, the people have spoken, which I think is incredibly important, Colby, when you consider the fact that does it really seem like they care? They're not be, having a hockey team in Arizona isn't high up on the citizens' priority list. They were already told from the city of Glendale uh, when leaving their arena, we think we can make more money without you here. Uh, that was the first sort of resounding, the people are saying this doesn't make sense. Now you see it in black and white, and it wasn't even a close vote. The Coyotes were absolutely thumped at the polls on Tuesday paving the way for some significant franchise changes. I believe the days are numbered of the Coyotes in Arizona. There's going to be lots of last second, you know, pleas and pushes. Can they move downtown? There's been a faction behind the scenes saying, hey, this has all been about the city of Phoenix itself trying to grab control of the situation. I don't buy that for one second. My question to you, Colby, as, as you look at some of the other potential possibilities and landing spots, whether that's Houston or Salt Lake City or Kansas City. Some have even mentioned Sacramento. Where would you send the Coyotes and how quickly would you do it? Would you just rip the Band-Aid off, pull up stakes and go now? What would you do? Well, Frank, there's a lot to unpack there. And I think first off, these residents have really only heard about the Coyotes for the last 10 years or so in a negative way, whether it when partially evicted from a building, not paying taxes, you know, articles about workplace culture. It just seems like this organization has been grossly mismanaged and people never really went to the games when it was in Glendale. Uh, this was the first year people were in the building and it only looked that way because of course we know 5,000 seats. So uh, it just has not been a, a pretty stay over the last decade. I don't think people want anything to do with it in Arizona. 